Heather and I are making our... Is this normal to do this? I don't know. Okay. We're, we're building... We're, bu a house. we're building shelving to put into our closets. So right now the closet is bare. And uh, soon it will have space for all of our, our clothes and stuff. So we're building... Uh, you have awesome screwdriving skills. Um, it's not my fault that it sounds like this. So we're gonna we're gonna be building this ourselves. Very exciting. Uh, also, a sneak peek at season two of my riding gear. For those of you that care, it's over there. It hasn't been used yet. Um, coin blue, 2017. Uh, all right. Well, let's get back to it. I'm just trying to not not do work. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot. Heather, how many screws are in this one box? Sixteen. Okay. Per lot of boxes. Well, guys, see how close I am to the steering wheel. <laughs> so I am transporting the uh, the two TVs today to the new house, which means I had to put this thing all the way forward. Look how great my belly looks in this. I am all the way forward with the steering wheel all the way compressed. And I have the 65 inch and the 55 inch behind me. Uh, just beautiful. <laughs> but um, I didn't trust loading it up into a U Haul because they are very, very, very fragile. So, taking it over to the house before work and then I'll set them up tonight. First time firing up this crazy contraption of a, uh, of a bathtub. Now it's almost like I'm in someone else's house, so I guess I'll just turn this guy on. Oh, oh it has like a multi stop thing. Yeah, right? It has little strings. Huh. So I guess, is it on, I guess it's on hot. And then I turn these, oh, that turns, that turns. And I'll just push this button here. Oh. It works. Does this have a little turny thing? Nope, just does that. Now how do I get this guy up for it? Do I turn this? Oh, so you can do both. But can you do both at the same time? Yeah, you can do both at the same time. That kind of leaks a little bit at the top. That's a little annoying. Huh. I'll pull the plumbers off out. Cool. Oh, it's drip. No, even when that's on full, that still drips too. That's, I guess it's best to get on both then. Because doing one or the other means it's going to drip on your thing there. Yeah, just leave it on both. The water's still dirty because uh, well, the well hasn't been used. But pretty warm? Yeah, it is. It works. Although I'll raise this head of the plumbers that when you turn this, and you only do one of them, the other one will leak down on this thing. So if you just do this one now, that leaks like weirdly. It's not a it's not a clean break. So we need to figure out why that's not doing it or just run both at the same time. I don't know. Not sure if this will be its own video, but uh, these boxes, these boxes, and all the boxes over there are actually beer boxes. And those of you who watched previous videos. These are definitely coming along down here, huh? Uh, some of these are beer boxes too. About 40% of what we moved over to the house is I mean, it, that's boxes is actually beer. Um, those of you who watched previous videos know that in my last house, I didn't have a cellar, last rental, I didn't have a cellar. So I bought this 21 cubic foot fridge, freezer, and I attached a uh, temperature controller. It's actually, it's, it was running for a while, so it's warming up to, I think, 50, is it the target set here? No, we want it here. Yeah, 151. Um, but it's said to like not go to freezing. Anyway, I was using this. So about 250 of my 2,000 bottles of beer were on site. Uh, with the new house, once this area is turned into the, the wine cellar um, with a temperature control unit and insulation, uh, this whole section you're looking at here will just be one big wall and it'll be full of beer. Very excited about that. So, but since I moved out of my old rental five and a half months ago, I have had all this beer in storage. It's been at U-Haul, even though they say you can't do that. Um, so now I'm finally able to populate this fridge again. 
This is all my ice cider. Well, not all of it. This is my on-site ice cider and mead. I'm just gonna populate this whole thing with uh, with beer, and then um, uh, it'll keep me <laughs> keep me okay until the uh, until I'm able to build out the full wine cellar. And I'm so excited to get all this stuff on site. These are things that I that are aged that are just ready to drink, but they don't need to keep aging anymore. Um, so I keep them on site for easy access. <clears throat> so yeah, just just so exciting. So I'll do another video in a second with uh, all these bottles populated. I'm gonna surprise Heather by opening this bottle. She hasn't had it yet, and it's um, for those of you that aren't beer geeks, it's actually really a special bottle. It's very difficult to get. It's not as good as other blueberry uh, lambics in the world, but incredibly challenging to get. And uh, I happen to have way too much of it. In fact, <laughs> I actually lost a bottle recently to just fell off a shelf. So I should just start drinking these. Um, but Heather's never had it before. It's the only annual Cantillon she hasn't rated. So I'm gonna open it up and, um, and surprise her. She's gonna be really excited. Hey Heather, can we have a, a house warming beer? I've already poured your beer. I don't know how many of these I have, so I don't know if it's my last one or not. <laughs> oh, gosh. oh! Hello, beer you always told me you wouldn't open for me. What's our first day in the new house? I can't figure out how to keep the light to stay on, though. For the window, it lets goes off as soon as the uh, thing starts again. Maybe it comes on when the dishes are done, so you know they're done. So let's start again. Two, one. Yeah, it turns off. Hmm. Day two of unpacking from three to twelve. So uh, well, it's. 11.38, I have to go to U-Haul at 8 a.m. to pick up the truck to get all the stuff out of Heather's parents' house. But uh, running the first dishwash load with the cleaner. Uh, burned in the range. Ran the, I did 200 gallons of water today through the uh, this and the bath faucet because there was so much sediment. Then I did another oil on the butcher's block. And uh, TV is up, sound bar is not. Um, beds are out and done. I got to do a lot more tomorrow. So I have 8 a.m. to get the U-Haul. Then, um, as you see down here, all that goes to the, the trash, the recycling. And then uh, come back here and finish unpacking. I told Heather that I want to be uh, done with unpacking uh, by tomorrow night. That gives me all day Saturday to decorate and organize all that I unpacked. And then Sunday, I can sleep in. And then my friends arrive at Sunday at dinner time. So I'll have Sunday to do more networking configuration stuff, but it's looking good. Uh, my first night I could sleep here, but I'm gonna go sleep in a, a nicer bed and with all my chargers, my iPhone and stuff. Good night, everyone.